Venn diagrams. In this session, we will look at the use of Venn diagrams. We will be using Venn diagrams with two circles to show the relationship between different sets. What is a Venn diagram? A Venn diagram shows the relationship between a group of different things, a set, in a visual way. Using Venn diagrams allows us to sort data into two or three circles which overlap in the middle. Each circle follows a certain rule, so any numbers or objects placed in the overlapping part, the intersection, follow both rules. Examples Number 1. Taking readings from Venn diagrams Some boys were asked if they played football or rugby. The Venn diagram shows the information. A. How many boys were asked if they played football or rugby? This is all the boys in the diagram. 19. Add 7. Add 6. Add 3. Which equals 35. How many boys played just rugby? 6 boys. How many boys do not play football? These are the boys who play football. So the boys that do not play football are 6 add 3, which equals 9 boys. D. How many boys play both rugby and football? These are the boys in the intersection part of the diagram, which equals 7 boys. Number 2. Completing a Venn diagram. Two circles. There are 27 students in a class. 11 of the students study French. 15 of the students study Spanish. 6 of the students study both French and Spanish. Draw a Venn diagram to show this information. When we have to complete a Venn diagram, we always start with the intersection of the sets. Six students study both French and Spanish, so the six goes in the middle. Eleven students study French. In the French circle, there must be a total of eleven. Six of these eleven students are already in the French circle. To have a total of eleven students, we need to add five students who study only French. 15 students study Spanish. In the Spanish circle, there must be a total of 15. Six of these 15 students are already in the Spanish circle. We need 15 take away 6, which equals 9 students who study only Spanish. There are also students who study neither French nor Spanish. To find the number of students who study neither, we add the numbers in the diagram to find the total. And we need to subtract it from the total number of students in the class. 5 add 6 add 9 equals 20. There are 27 students in the class. 27 minus 20 equals 7. And we write this 7 outside both circles. What if we don't know how many are in both the sets? Number 3. 35 adults were asked which of two newspapers they read. 13 read the Daily Express. 28 read the Daily Telegraph. 4 read neither paper. Show this information on a Venn diagram. To be able to draw a Venn diagram, we need to know how many people read both papers. In this case, we add the given numbers 13, add 28, add 4, equals 45. But the question said that 35 adults were asked. The extra people are the ones that we counted double. They are the ones that read both papers. Reading both papers, 45 take away 35, which equals 10. We write this 10 in the intersection. 
13 read the Daily Express. 10 of these are already in the circle for Daily Express, so we need another 3 in the Daily Express circle. 28 read the Daily Telegraph. 10 are already in the circle for the Daily Telegraph, so we need 28 take away 10, which equals 18 in the Daily Telegraph circle. The 4 who read neither goes outside both circles. For practice questions on Venn diagrams, visit us at www.11plusgenie.com.